welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I am Talisha Lynn, and I am so happy that you've taken the time to join me in my natural skincare journey. Before you get started, I would like for you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom so you'll know when I have a new video to post to my channel and you'll also receive an alert. Now, have you ever wondered exactly what happens after you apply a skincare product to your skin? Well, I've often wondered and it's no way for me ever to tell unless I see some benefit or if I have some sort of chemical reaction happen after I tried the product. Well, in this video today, you'll see another example of how I use my TRT method, which is the toxin reduction technique. This is where I sample certain skincare products on fruits and vegetables to help you do a cross comparison and understand if a product could have potential toxins in it or if it's good for your skin. My overall goal is for you to be able to make the healthiest decisions for you and for your family when deciding to choose a skincare product. Now, I'm in no way claiming that these examples or any of my uh, techniques are scientific. I'm not claiming to be a scientist, a doctor, or, or anything of that sort. I'm just a regular individual who has experiences on how to possibly reduce the amount of toxins that go into our system through certain skincare products. So what I want you to do next is go ahead, sit back and relax, and tune in as I show you four examples of my toxin reduction technique. Have you ever stopped to wonder how gracious Mother Nature is to allow her fruits and vegetables to be used for our nutritional and for our skin needs? Just think about it. There are so many different colors, so many different varieties and textures to choose from, and many are available just for us to enjoy. Well, today I'm going to show you four different methods to help you determine if a product is potentially toxic or beneficial for your skin. So I've come up with a very simple way to test your skincare products before applying them to your skin. I refer to them as the toxin reduction technique. And it's a very, very easy way to check and see if a product may cause any harm to your skin before applying it directly to problem areas. I have a fun fact for you. Did you know that fruits and vegetables can be affected by the sun's harmful UV rays? Yes, I just discovered that and I found it very fascinating. So I came up with an idea to test that theory. As you can see here, Excessive amount of sunlight can be potentially damaging to a piece of fruit or a vegetable. So get ready because I've created four different case studies to test the TRT method. Case study number one, the agitated apricot, the objective to determine if an apricot will suffer the ill fate of a horrible sunburn after applying a moisturizer with or without SPF within 60 minutes. The moisturizer contains all natural ingredients and the other contains some synthetics. Here you see two samples. One is an apricot that contains a natural moisturizer and also a natural SPF. The other is an apricot that contains no SPF with a moisturizer and has synthetics. I decided to make this case study a little bit more interesting, so I added two more variables. A variable C, which is an apricot that contains a moisturizer and a SPF that are both synthetic. Apricot D is considered a placebo and it contains no moisturizer and no SPF. 
Now the wait begins. I decided to let the apricot sit outside for one whole hour. It's been about 30 minutes now and as you can see, the apricots are starting to change color, but I wanna give it another 30 minutes. Now let's see if the apricots obtain any level of sunburn while being outside for 60 minutes. The natural moisturizer on the apricot A appears to be a slight change of color, but let's see B. The non-SPF moisturizer that contains synthetics have a large degree of discoloration indicating sunburn. Apricot C that contains the synthetic moisturizer and the synthetic SPF does have a little bit of discoloration, but a not a significant amount to determine sunburn. And Apricot D showed no signs of sunburn on the top, but on the bottom there's a slight discoloration and that may have been from the heat from the plastic plate. This is our before picture of our apricots. And here is our after picture. To conclude, make sure you always apply a face moisturizer that contains a natural SPF during the day. Case study number two, the banana split. The objective, to determine which banana will show signs of a nasty decay after it's been washed with a natural face cleanser versus a synthetic face cleanser within a 24 hour period. You see one banana that I've cut in half and I'll be washing it with the Elise Naturals Foaming Face Cleanser. The next one is the banana washed with a foaming cleanser containing a synthetic brand. I am gently applying the cleanser. Now I'm going to wash my hands to apply the cleanser to the next banana. Make sure that both bananas are completely covered with cleanser. Now here comes the wait time. I will allow both bananas to sit for approximately 15 minutes. As you can see, they're both covered and there are no signs of decay. I'm preparing to rinse both bananas. You can use either tap water or a spray bottle. It was easier for me to rinse the bananas with tap water. while looking over my bananas, I still do not notice any visible signs of decay, so I'm gonna let it sit another 30 minutes. Looking them over, looking for any difference in both bananas. Still, I notice no reaction within an hour's time. Hmm, let's try something else. As you can see, banana A doesn't have any discolorations or any noticeable signs of ripening or decay, but it's still a bit firm. Now, as compared to banana B, it's a bit mushy, but that's still not enough evidence to make a determination. So I'm gonna allow both bananas to sit overnight. We're into the next morning with a total time of 12 hours. At first glance, I can visibly see 
decay in both bananas. Banana A washed with the Alisi Natural Cleanser has some browning, some discoloration, and also the Banana B washed with the Synthetic Face Cleanser has a bit more browning and also is a very slippery. As you can see, I dropped it because I can barely grab it with the uh, tongs. Now I must say that I was quite impressed with the appearance of the Banana A. Banana B, I can't say the same. It looks pretty yucky, but let's take a look inside. I'm gonna cut both bananas gently to see if there are any changes inside of both. Now as I'm looking, I don't see anything too obvious. So I'm going to say the similarities is that both show no immediate sign of decay. Both show very little eternal decay. There were no rotten odors and neither fell apart. For differences, B show obvious signs of decay much faster than A. The outer layer in banana A did not deteriorate as much as B. The B banana turned out to be a little bit more mushy and a little bit more slippery. Another visible difference is that banana B appears to be a bit more darker in color than A. And lastly, it had a lasting smell of fragrance. Banana A had no smell of fragrance. Now, which foam cleanser would you trust on your face? I'll let you be the judge. Case study number three, the agitated apricot part two, the objective to determine if an apricot will survive after being covered in undiluted body wash. I am indicating apricot A, which is the Alisi Naturals body wash cleanser, and B is the synthetic body cleanser. And I am preparing to cover them both in body wash. First I'm going to rinse and now I'm applying a few drops of cleanser to the A and I was able to cover the entire apricot with just a few drops of cleanser and I noticed that the cleanser absorbed right into the apricot. Now with apricot B I applied a small amount of cleanser onto the apricot and I noticed that the cleanser pretty much just laid on top of the apricot. It did not absorb. Now I'm going to allow the fruit to sit for approximately 24 hours. And there you have it. 24 hours later. We have apricot A that indicates some small areas of discoloration and apricot B indicated some larger areas of discoloration. As you can see here, you can see a few spots of discoloration on the front and a little on the top, but on apricot B, there is a lot on the back and there's also some signs of decay on the top. So this shows me that apricot B is decaying at a faster rate than apricot A. I allow for the apricots to sit for another 48 hours. This is day two, and it's still the same thing. Apricot A is decaying at a slower rate than apricot B. And again, I would like for my viewers to consider which body wash would be a healthier option for you and for your family. Case study number four, survival of the weeds. The objective, to determine if and how long can a garden weed survive in a glass of diluted natural body wash and a glass of diluted body wash containing synthetics. Here are both of the prepared samples on day one. Glass A contains the weed with diluted Alisi natural body wash Glass B contains the synthetic body wash. Here is a top view of both weeds in both solutions. Moving on to day two, 
both weeds survive through the night and appear to be healthy. On day three, B began to show some signs of decay with a few leaves in the water. On day four, A showed no signs, well, very minor signs of decay, but B had more dead leaves in the water. On day five, we B contained no live leaves and was completely dry. While we A began to show some signs of decay and some discolored leaves. On the final day, day six, weed A appeared to still be alive. It's a little limp, but otherwise it has a little bit of life left in it. Weed B showed signs of decay on the second day, and by the sixth day, it was completely dry, completely dead. It's pretty dry and crispy right here, but I'm gonna take them both out of the water so you can do a comparison of both different types of body wash. Hey there again, I'm back. I hope that you found that information very useful. Again, I've created this strategy for you because it has worked for me in the past with being able to reduce the amount of toxins that go into our skin. I've suffered from many skin conditions over the years such as acne, eczema, a severe dry skin, and I've been able to improve my skin condition with using natural products and also by using the toxin reduction technique. So what I would love for you to do is go ahead and try these experiments with your own skincare products, with your own fruits and vegetables, and share your results in the comments. I would love to hear if this technique is helpful for you or if I can make some improvements in any way. So once again, I am so thankful that you joined me today. I would love to see you again. I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you again on my next video. Thank you, bye. If you would like to know more about the Alisi Natural Skin Care brand, or if you would like to purchase any of our products, please visit www.alisinaturals.com.